What is the one thing that is constant within mobile technology? Fans. We're gonna talk about that today in my blog. Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Rob here with Aloha Android and I'm shooting from a different uh, ang angle and uh, thought I wanted to try this out. So, Anyways, uh, for today's topic, I want to talk about fanboys and fangirls all over the internet. You know, it gets, uh, that's the topic to talk about today. So that's the one thing that is constant within mobile technology is fanboy and fangirls. We have them everywhere. We have them on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. They're constant, they're never changing, they're always there. The thing, you know, and it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong, this, this rant video of mine is not to totally bash them or anything like that because it's a good thing. It's good that there are people out there that love and support what they like. I mean, that's freedom of choice, can't go wrong. The problem, though, is on the social networks, the complete bashing back and forth, the, the arguments, you know, something that's an open discussion can turn to a great forum into a drag to actually be there. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Because it's, it's constant, it's always there. Um, example, enter the iPhone 6 Plus. This is a hot topic that everyone is just blowing on. And that's just because it's a new device that's released by Apple. And one of the things that people are constantly arguing about is the bend situation. Bending the iPhone 6 Plus bends. And uh, some people think that it's pretty idiotic for diehard Apple cult-like followers to sit there and take something negative and make it a positive. So there's all these little things being spewed out about the iPhone 6 Plus. It bends and it's a good thing, you know, type of attitude behind it. And people are like, why? It's not made to bend. That's the point behind it. The LG G Flex bends, but the iPhone 6 Plus was not featured to be bendable. And it's true, but I mean, really when you think about it, you know, pe you know people are gonna go with what they want and they're gonna follow it no matter how how good or bad of a product it puts out. I mean, those same Apple fanboys that are doing that about the iPhone 6 Plus also think the same towards Android. With us on Android, you know, there's things that maybe Android didn't do right or didn't do well and we just compensate for it with an excuse or whatever and they come and they totally bash. But that's the thing about it is like, sometimes people just gotta step back and really like, accept what is there. If it was made bad, accept that it's bad. It's not, you know, it's not to say that, okay, everything that was put out by Apple is bad just because the iPhone 6 Plus can bend. That's not true. What it's just saying is that there is a flaw with the iPhone 6 Plus, and it's something that people need to know about. They need to know that the device bends. People out there who are on, on they're not on either side, are gonna buy this phone and they're gonna freak out when it bends in their pocket. And one of the reasons why is because people these days wear really tight jeans. So putting a big phone like that in some tight jeans pressed up against your thigh, it's gonna bend. And when it bends, you know, people that are not tech savvy are just gonna freak out. So how could you really take something like an iPhone 6 Plus bending as, as to be something that is great about it? It's not, it was never intended to bend. The denial is so bad that it causes arguments on social networks, which which I find is so funny. I mean, the, you know, same can be said for Android fans when there are certain things that wasn't done right and people would point it out. Of course, they would, like I said, compensate for that and really no one should really be doing that. When something is bad, it's bad. When it's good, it's good. Either way, it should be as is. It shouldn't be altered, changed, or whatever to cause arguments on social network sites. I mean, that's just ridiculous. And they're regurgitating the same things over and over again, like the different memes. The other day, I saw a meme on Google+. And it was funny because it was taken from the context of The Lion King, which uh, had like Mufasa and Simba sitting on a rock talking about everything the light touches is iOS. And then Simba's like, 
well, what about that shadowy place over there? And then they type at the bottom from Mufasa, and they're like, uh, that's, that place is Android. You, you, you must never go there. And, I mean, it's, that's kind of hitting below the belt because Android is, is very great. It's very great at what it does, and, and in my opinion, does better than iOS does. But <laughs> the thing about that was that Android was spelt wrong on that meme. So then, you know, these people started commenting on it, and someone was like, it goes to show the intelligence that it, that is needed to use iOS, and that was kind of hitting below the belt. Um, it wasn't, you know, like they just start grabbing everybody into it and just, bam, like... Like all iOS users are 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 not not smart at all because one person made a meme and misspelled the word Android. Like that's where it starts to become a drag. Like you don't even want to comment on it anymore or even read about it because it's gone from like playful argumentative stage to now we're just hitting below belts and then to full blown you know calling people idiots or unintelligent people or stupid or dumb or whatever and that right there is actually unintelligent stupid and dumb right there because everyone like i said everyone's going to like what they're going to want to like so the whole point behind it being is that it's great that we have fanboys and fangirls but sometimes they just got to accept flaws from what they like and you know understand that not everything that google puts out or apple puts out is supreme and perfect if it was perfect as i, as I said before there would never be any updates there would never be anything to change with the fanboys and the fangirls they need to chill they need to relax because we're in this we're in a time right now where mobile technology to me the way i see it, how it's been progressing in the social networks now i'm not talking about the development or any of that stuff from the main companies i'm talking about the excitement that people have with unboxings or the excitement that people have with reviews those things are starting to become dull they're becoming dull because we have certain people who just make it unbearable for everyone to want to read in like communities or groups or any of that kind of stuff because they're just so constantly negative and bringing a negative vibe to all of it. And I think that's what's really killing it for a lot of tech bloggers, a lot of people who post up on the social networks because they can post up one thing and then everyone's just going to start going in there and pick sides and start defending and just have this whole unnecessary, idiotic conversation over something that, you know, is just plain simple. I mean, it is what it is. So... My thing is, is that I think that, you know, and I hope that most people can actually be more understanding, a little bit more mature, and a little bit more better towards this, because, as I said, it's just making it dull, and I'm sure some of you guys can agree, some of you guys may disagree with me, but that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, and I accept that. So, anyways, I'm going to end off this vlog. Thank you for watching this video, and if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, because it helps me out subscribe somewhere where that subscribe button is if you have not subscribed and don't forget i am doing a small contest giveaway so if you guys want to enter in that check that video out i'll link it in the description of this video for the rules and how you guys may enter and uh, we're coming close to halloween and yeah thank you for watching you guys you guys are awesome